Well, Israeli forces have intensified their attacks around the Nusserat camp in Gaza. Our correspondent, Noor Harazin, is in Rafa. Noor, what more do we know about uh, the attack on uh, the refugee camp? Well, Jamie, over the past 24 hours, Israel actually intensified its attacks in northern Gaza, in middle Gaza, and also here in uh, southern uh, Gaza. However, uh, there were uh, this is really land invasion in. Uh, the Al-Nusayrat refugee camp, which is located in uh, middle Gaza. It was actually a surprise land invasion. Uh, Palestinians did not evacuate uh, their homes. They woke up on the sounds of continuous uh, gunshots and uh, bombings in the area. The Israeli warplanes targeted Ashur family home, where dozens of people were killed, including women and children. Uh, they also targeted the Nassar family home, where uh, Four uh, women were uh, killed. Other homes also at the uh, Al-Nusayrat refugee camp were um, uh, targeted. Uh, yesterday, a, a team, a media team that is working for the Turkish uh, channel TRT also was targeted by an Israeli shell and this caused the uh, injury of the cameraman and also the correspondent. Uh, this is the situation inside the refugee camp. Palestinians were actually surprised because the Al-Nusayrat refugee camp is marked as a green zone, a safe area where Palestinians should be uh, safe and where actually people from the north and also from Khan Yunis city evacuated looking for safety. And Israeli settlers uh, are reportedly um, set, have set fire to dozens of homes in the West Bank. What more do we know about that? Well, uh, yes, Israeli settlers uh, carried uh, hundreds of attacks on uh, Palestinian towns and Palestinian villages in the uh, and between Nablus and uh, Ramallah in uh, many areas. They sat fire in the lands of Palestinians, in the olive trees. They also attacked uh, cars, Palestinian cars moving in and out of Nablus and uh, from uh, Ramallah. Palestinian medical sources reported the injury of at least 16 people in clashes between the Palestinians and the Israeli settlers or the Israeli uh, police. Here is the thing. Most of the Israeli settlers who attack Palestinian villages are arm, uh, armed, uh, while the Palestinians are non armed. So it is very, very difficult for uh, Palestinians to protect themselves, especially that most of the areas in Nablus and uh, Ramallah are uh, open. They, most of the areas are uh, farms and uh, lands where Palestinians are known to, um, to harvest uh, olives. So, yes, this is the situation. For now, Palestinians in the West Bank, uh, they do believe that the situation will uh, escalate in the upcoming days, especially with what is happening here in the Gaza Strip. Noor, thank you for that. Our correspondent, Noor Harazin in Rafa.